I'm sure we all can think of a lot of examples in our personal lives, people we've encountered, examples of courage and determination. And our next award winner is an example of both of those qualities. Fabian Harris had the courage to believe in himself, even, even certainly when circumstances suggested that he might want to give up. But he found safety, and he found security, and he found purpose in basketball. This is a guy who doesn't fear failure. He fears not trying to succeed. If you've been to a CSI basketball game this season, you've seen Fabian Harris put up big numbers on the court. But what you may not know is that Harris has been through more in his brief 21 years on this earth than most people will go through in a lifetime. Fabian Harris grew up in Marquette, an area on the east side of Chicago, a place where violence is the norm. This is my mama, rest in peace, uh, Virgin Mary crying over her tombstone. Basically, in 97, I lost my mom to, like, they murdered her, actually, in an abandoned house. They, like, slit her throat. Tamika Giltney was Fabian's pregnant mother. While heading to the store, Giltney was jumped, raped, and killed. Her unborn child did not survive. Fabian was just six years old. Basically, I was, like, messed up in the head out there. I ain't listening to nobody. Started getting in trouble. Like, can nobody tell me nothing? After that, I just didn't have nowhere to go. I just started playing basketball my fifth grade year, and I really didn't like it because I was playing football. Then sixth grade, I'm like, oh, I can play this sport. Then seventh grade, I won a championship. Then I'm like, oh, I can play. <laughs> Harris became so good that by the time his senior season came to an end, he was fighting off offers from different four year and junior colleges. He settled on his hometown school of DePaul. But right before graduation, tragedy struck again. I got my brother right here, Faison. My brother right here, my friend on this one. Harris's brother, Faison, who is one year younger than him, was shot and killed. Went to the hospital, and it was, I went in there, I saw him, and I just lost it, broke down crying. Everybody out there crying. It's just crazy. The craziness continued in the weeks that followed Faison's death. Harris lost two more people close to him. First, one of his best friends, Isaiah Jackson. Police pulled him over in the car, and when he got out, they thought he had a gun, so they shot him like 14 times and like killed him on sight. Then a week after that, my cousin um, got into it with this guy, like they had a fight, and a guy came out the alley and shot my cousin in the head. So I lost three people in one month. Like, I had to get out of Chicago. When all is said and done this year, it looks like Harris will have a bright future to look forward to. I got a ton of letters from Kansas, Texas a and Oklahoma State, Southern Miss, Ole Miss, like crazy mail. I really think this happened for a reason in Fabian's life. And uh, he's such a, uh, an unbelievable young man. And, and I sit there and look back, and it's been two years. I just think, you know, it, 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 he was supposed to be here. I feel like everything's falling in place now. Like, I, my whole story is like playing out just how I want it. I've been through the road, the bumpy road. Now I'm going clean. Now I'm just driving, just riding. The presenters for this award tonight, you all can make your way up. Presenters include Lucille O'Neill, the author, the motivational speaker, the mother of Shaquille O'Neal. Donnie Jones, who you know well as the head basketball coach at University of Central Florida. And reading the inscription and the remarks from Scott Maxwell, columnist for the Orlando Sentinel. Thank you, Bob. You know, as a political columnist who spends most of his life writing about people who uh, will tell you all day long they make a difference in the world, it's nice to be here to honor some people who actually do. And won't ask you for money, so. <laughs> Fabian, I'd like to read the inscription to you. We honor you for your tremendous success in reaching your goals while overcoming some of life's most difficult obstacles. You have proven that believing in yourself with hard work and dedication, there is a better future. You are a true role model for your community, and I'd submit for all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, Fabian. How are everybody doing? I didn't write a speech because I wanted to speak from my heart. And I want to start off by thanking God, because without him, none of this would be possible for me or everybody in this room. I also want to thank all you beautiful people for coming out tonight. Give yourself a hand. Yep, y'all didn't listen. This is a hand. Give yourself a round of applause. And 
I just want to thank uh, all the people that nominated me for this award. I want to thank uh, um, my agent over there for coming out to support me and all y'all out here to support me and all the rest of the people that won tonight and all the people y'all are putting in the Hall of Fame tonight. And that's all I got to say. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. All right, Fabian, again, congratulations on this award. I appreciate it. Uh, share with us how you're feeling right now. Give us your first reactions to receiving this award. Uh, right now, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous right now. I haven't talked in front of people like that since my junior year of college in speech class. But actually, I feel good about winning this award. This award means a lot. I actually looked into the award. There's a lot of people over the years that picked up this award and they're successful right now. So it feels good to have won this award tonight. Good deal, good deal. Now last night at the dinner I mentioned to you that you are now a lifetime member of the consortium. Um, talk to us about what that means to you and how you're going to use that membership. Actually, uh, it feels good to be a member now and I'm just going to do what I've been doing, staying positive, being a role model to the youth in my um, community and just give back with the foundation game that I'm actually hosting when I leave here on the 25th. And that's all I'm going to do is just continue doing what I've been doing, but do it at a high level. Okay. I like that. I like the sounds of that. Now, I know all of your uh, loved ones and friends and some of your teammates couldn't be here to experience this evening with you. What will you go back and share with them about this experience? I'm just going to tell them. Y'all should have been here. There's <laughs> not much I can say they should have been here to witness this, but I, if I go back and if I feel like telling them a story, I'm going to tell them, like, I met a lot of good people tonight and a lot of people that's very successful at what they do and the, the fields that they are in. That's all I'm going to tell them and I enjoy tonight. Good deal, man. Congratulations Appreciate again. That. All right.